What's up, YouTube people? What is up, my homies, my home dog, my Riley C fans, Riley C14 fans? I don't know if I told you guys uh, how I got my name or anything like that, but that doesn't matter. We're talking about why I want to join the Seals. The Seals? Who are they? Well, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the reason why I want to join the Seals so bad, yeah, nice. It, it, it's ironic, I have an Air Force knife, I don't have a uh, Navy knife. Uh, kind of sad, but um, it's either Air Force or uh, Green Berets or whatever. Um, so I was like, uh, I don't want Army because, I mean, you know, Army's good and all. All the branches are good. I love every branch or else I would not be going to the uh, military just to talk trash. I want to, I want to join them, have brothers, like, you know, um, brothers, uh, in arms, or just, uh, friends that are really close. Anyway, so why I want to join the SEALs? No one asks this because I never really get any questions, but hey, I'm, a I'm answering my own questions, and you guys are probably wondering why I do want to join the SEALs, because I, I, I highly recommend them and all that stuff. The reason why is because, well, they're the best. Honestly, um, any person that actually knows who the SEALs are, they would tell you that they're one of the best. It's hard to group to get into. Uh, their, their drop rate is like 60 to 70 percent. Uh, so it's really tough to get in, but I mean, I, I think if you guys really put your mind to it, and you have to put your mind to it, or else you guys are not doing anything. Like, you're not going to pass at all. If, with the, like, um, you have to have a can-do attitude, and uh, never give up. Never, ever, 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 never, ever, never, ever, <laughs> never, ever give up in the field. If you give up, that's a weakness. Those recruiters will nail that to you. They will constantly keep on bugging you if they find you find you weak. That's why the ratio of the seals is 60 to 70 percent drop rate. Now, why I want to talk to you about this is because I have nothing else to do. My friends are playing GTA 5. Um, great game. I don't really like it that much, but hey, I'm downloading it just to play with them. Anyways, um, so, another reason why I wanted to join SEALs, besides like the best of the best, is because they're the most powerful people on Earth. Well, not on Earth. I, I wouldn't say that. I'd say in the U.S., uh, military-wise. Um, actually, no, I think they're the, they're the number one uh, people in the U.S. in general because of their combat and the experience and all that stuff and the reason why I say not in the world is because I think Spexnaz, uh, the Russian, um, uh, the Russian, uh, people, um, we, we call it, uh, I'm losing my train, uh, Special Forces, uh, yeah, uh, the Special Forces for them, that's what they are, the Spexnaz. Um, I think they one up us, I think, uh, for the SEALs. I, I say one up us like I'm in the SEALs already. Yeah, I'm no. I'm not in the SEALs yet. Um, but, yeah, I, I feel like they're uh, number one just because what their training is. You don't really see much of their training because they're trying to keep it classified and all that stuff. We don't really keep ours classified. We already have, like, a buzz out. It's, um class 234 it's actually uh it's actually really cool uh to see because i saw um i saw what i was gonna go into what uh experience i was gonna have i'm um glad that they did that because i didn't know what entirely their bud training were and it, it's weird um so <laughs> i'm not calling this easy or anything I, I mean, my past self was, but I thought, for some reason, the SEALs training was a lot easier than any other training, like uh, Green Berets or 
the uh, PJs or Marsoc or Rangers or Delta Force or any of that stuff. I thought the steals were like easy because um, uh, easier than other the other ones because I just felt like uh, it'd be uh, it'd be fun. You'd have fun for one. Two, you'd have great muscles. Three, you'd be in perfect shape. And then four, um, you'd get wet. Who doesn't want to get wet on the beaches? I mean, come on. That's awesome. Um, in this case, you guys didn't know, Buzz, Buzz is uh, in Florida and California. As far as I know, those are the only two places that you can actually go for SEAL training. Now, I could be wrong about that, um, that there's just two. Um, but as far as I know, there's just, I think, San Diego. I could be wrong about that. I haven't checked where the places are. Um, so don't quote me or don't um, say, oh, you're wrong, you're stupid, and all that stuff. No, I, I'm just saying what I think it is. I'm not, I don't entirely know where it is, but um, I, I'm just saying uh, I think it's over in that area somewhere. Anyways, uh, it's in California and Florida, as far as I know. Those are the only two places. Um, back to why I want to become a SEAL. Is, um, another reason is because they took down Salman Bin Laden. They, uh, it took Marines, what, two years? Like, m more than a year, and it took the SEALs. Uh, now, I know anyone could have done it, but I don't think anyone could have done it effectively as the SEAL Team 6 did because of how they did and what people they had, and hey, it's just the timing. The timing was perfect with them. I feel like if any other branch uh, did it, it wouldn't be as more of effective or the timing wasn't perfect uh, for them. I, I'm pretty sure it would have been, but what do I know? I just felt like, um, I, I just felt like, you know, they actually did did it the best way that they could. Uh, any branch does, but uh, I feel like they did it more better. Just because I love the seals no matter what. Even if I don't pass buds, on a first try, second try, a third try. I'm pretty sure there's, you can only do it three times. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that one. But um, if I don't pass it, I'm I'm just gonna say okay. I tried my best. I I tried it. I don't see anyone else trying it before, or um, any of my friends trying it. Which I, I they don't really want to go into the uh, military. I, it's perfectly understandable. My friend wants to be a mechanic. Uh, my other friend, I don't know what he wants to be, but he's in band right now. I feel like he's going to go into the band uh, route. And then I have another buddy. He wants to go into the Marines. I always kept him about it, like, oh, the jar heads and all that stuff. And like, oh, body bags and all that stuff. But I'm totally messing around. Every branch is cool with me, especially the Marine, uh, especially Navy and Marines, because they uh, work together a lot more than any Army or... Uh, Air Force. The Marines go down on the ground first. Uh, they cover every place, uh, make sure uh, the Navy can get through to where their destination is. <clears throat> um, so they're clearing a path for the SEALs or Navy people. And I, I, I totally appreciate it, man. <laughs> Guys, girls, whoever serves, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Anyways, back to my original story of why I, I don't know why I keep getting off track, track uh, but, yeah. And then, um, another reason was I heard about the SEAL Team 6, and then, so I believe someone said, uh, hey, did you hear about uh, SEAL Team 6 with some Simon Bin Laden and all that stuff? And I was like, no, what happened there? I thought it was regular SEALs and all that stuff. What's this SEAL Team 6? And they were like, you know what SEAL Team 6 is? Those people are the best of the best of the best. They outrank everyone and all that stuff. I'm like, oh, my bad. I didn't know them because I wasn't a big military fan until, um, well, I guess you would say freshman year. I, I gave, I, I pledged, I, t I talked to this in a recent video, but I pledged that I would become a Navy SEAL in middle school. I pledged it in that year. I believe seven seventh grade um, middle school is seventh and eighth uh, here where I live and I I pledged it that I would be a Navy SEAL then 
and I, I, I was like, um, okay, if I'm going to become a Navy SEAL, I need to uh, watch all these videos, work out more. So I, I kind of happened freshman year. I kind of, kind of went nuts. I got a SEAL hat. I got a SEAL sweatshirt. Um, actually, no, that wasn't uh, freshman year. Um, I watched videos of them, but when I really got into it, it was sophomore year. And what happened sophomore year was I got the sweatshirt, I got the hat, I got the um, uh, got the anchor. It's actually a pretty cool anchor. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I got, I got those pamphlet um, thing, and yeah, I just got more into it. I started working out. I was uh, 215, 218, something like that, and I was like, you know what? I need to drop weight just for the Navy, and I've read that um, if you're five foot ten, then that's like seventy inches. So if you're looking at if it says inches wise, um, five foot ten is uh, seventy inches. I'm not gonna go through all the inches with you because that would take a while. But for me, I had to drop a lot of weight actually. Uh, I had to be in the 190 range, and I only found that out when I was actually dropping weight. So. I was with the 215 all the way down to 290, or 190, 290, yeah, totally, 290. Uh, I'm going back up. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, 218, 215, whatever, and then started going down, and then uh, it kind of goes up and down with me, but I'm a solid 190 now. Um, if you don't, if you feel like you want to go into the uh, Marines or Air, Air Force or Navy, Army or whichever branch, um, go for it. Uh, if you want to go to like college and you don't want to pay for it or you can't pay for it or anything like that, I suggest the military because they give you great stuff. Although I heard the Navy does a little bit more better um, with, um, with with uh, college and all that stuff. Um, losing my train of thought. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, they give you like a great education. Uh, even if you're um, uh, planning on doing something else, like I don't know, like be a mechanic as soon as you get out, or be a mechanic as soon as you get in, or anything like that, they'll give you that education. Uh, my mom's friend, uh, boss, sh her husband was a Marine, and he, I was talking to my mom, and I was like, which branch do you think is the best branch? Um, and uh, uh, she said, actually, my boss's husband, uh, he was a Marine, and he said, the best education that you can get is the Navy, uh, because of what they do and, uh, how they teach it and all that stuff, and I was like, oh, see? And she's all against, um, this, uh, SEAL stuff, because she's a mom and she doesn't want, uh, people to get hurt, and I was like, come on, it's gonna be fun! <laughs> I don't want to die or anything like that. Yeah, I say that now and then wait until later. I don't want to be out here anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, um, anyways, so, so that's, those are the main reasons why I want to actually become a, um, Navy, because great education, uh, they'll, if you put in the hours for them, they'll, uh, pay you right, uh, they'll, you're basically, working for free, kind of. I mean, you gotta, yeah, you, you're working for free, but once you hit college or whatever, they may, uh, they'll let you, uh, they'll pay for it. They'll totally pay for it, and, um, of course, you'll be getting a paycheck, but, I mean, um, which is awesome about the military. You get, uh, they pay for your college, they, uh, you get money while working for them, and all this cool stuff, so, um, I would, uh, if you want something like that, now as far as I know, this all happens. I'm just going to buy what everyone else says. I'm not saying it for me and all that stuff. But I am saying this. If you do want a good, um, you know, like a good education and all that stuff, go for the Navy. Navy's awesome. Um, of course, uh, if you go to JT Suits, he will tell you, most uh, most stuff about um, the Navy, like uh, good things and bad things, what not to do, what to do, um, 
what to buy, what not to buy, or something like that. I don't know. I've watched a lot of videos. He's actually a pretty good guy. Um, no idea where he lives. He, I know he's not near me, um, but no one's near me. Um, like, no YouTuber or anything like that, unless it's, like, my friend or whatever. Anyways, um, so, yeah, that, um, that all happens and all that stuff. Um, I don't know really much else to say except uh, those are the reasons why I want to go to the uh, field because they're the best of the best um, in the U.S. to protect my country and to protect the people I love and uh, I find awesome, which is everyone. Unless it's a, a special girl, not my girlfriend, but a friend who's a girl that I like. And unless I want to protect her, which I've talked to you guys about her before, uh, not giving any names, um, but I believe it's I, uh, IDK Part 1 or IDK Part 2 is when I really talked about her. Um, I think it's the second one, but you can you might want to try both of them just in case. Um, so, I'll probably be talking more of... Um, how how I met her and how I um I'm not gonna say love I'm gonna okay well I do love her but I mean I'm not gonna say it because it'd be awkward just in case she did find this video somehow um it's gonna be awkward just talking about it like um she be te she probably be text me like hey is this you you like me <laughs> just like um no no that's not me no no, that that me. No, um, no, I don't know who you are. But it's just like you know, all that stuff and um, yeah. So I'll probably be talking some stuff about it. Uh, about.